We're going to learn how to create these multi-view drawings today. So this is kind of our final product of what we'll see. First things first, we need to create the part. So let me go out and do that. I'll go out here to New Design. And I'll start a new sketch on this one today. And this is really a simple product. We've got a rectangle that's two inches long and one inch tall. And I just use the grid for that. I'm going to go ahead and put a circle smack dab in the middle. And that should measure a half inch, so 0.5. Then I'm just going to extrude. So right here. Right? And I'll make that a half inch as well and hit OK. We'll go ahead and save it though, right? So I call this easy block. For me, it's going to have to be easy block too. So now I've got the part up. From here, what I will do is I'm going to go over here to design. And I'm going to say drawing. And I'll say from design. Alright, so my options are going to come up. I'm going to go ahead and say full assembly. Now, if I've got multiple parts, and many of you will with your earbud project, I could just say visible only or I could hit select and select would allow me to just pick the particular part I want. Okay, so if I have two components, I'm going to want to hit select. Down here for drawing, I hit create new. For template, most of you are going to just want to say from scratch, which should be the default option anyway. If you did make a template in our previous lesson, you could go here now and, and actually browse and find your template. For now though, we can just hit from scratch. We'll keep our standard and we'll keep our units. And I'm, you know, if you did it in inches, then obviously you'll use inches. If not, choose your millimeters. For sheet size, I want 11 by eight and a half. This will take it and make it landscape. If we choose the first sheet A, that will make it portrait style. All right, so we will choose landscape. So here are our options. This is really what we can look like, unless, like we said, unless you had a template. So we'll hit OK. And when we do that, it's going to go ahead and pull up this drawing piece. And by, you can see it's already got our part pulled up for us. So I'm going to place that there. And I'll just hit OK over here. So now I've got a part. I've got my front view chosen. And then I'm going to come over here to project. Okay, to project right here. And I'm going to click right there. And I'm just going to come up here and now I'm, I haven't clicked anything yet. I, all I did was click the front view and now I'm going to come up here and move the mouse. And when I get there, I'll click it again and that will allow me to place that. Then I just move the mouse over and I'll click again where I want the right. Then I'll move the mouse up and I'll click again where I want the isometric. There's a little check mark here I can click and that will finish. Or I could have just right clicked and said done. So I've got a few more things to do now. First thing I want to do is double click on the isometric and I'll make sure that it says shaded because we want that colored in. All right, so that one's taken care of. I'll hit close. On this one you can see I've got hidden lines but I've got no center lines. If this happens to you where you don't have these hidden lines you want to double click on the front view because it's called the parent view. So we'll click that, double click in it. And we want to just make sure that this second one is chosen where it says visible and hidden edges. Let's say I click here. That will get rid of those hidden lines. Well, we actually would like to see those. So we'll click right here. And I think for most of us that's not going to be an issue. But it, it's possible that yours may just have visible edges clicked in. Okay. We could also, if we wanted to at any point, and this may happen on your earbuds, you may want to change the scale here. Right, maybe your earbud case is really small or, or it's really huge. Okay, you could change the scale right there. So we'll hit close now. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose my center mark right here. So I'll choose center mark. And I'm just going to click the diameter somewhere on the outside of this circle. I'll click that and it'll put my center mark in. Right next door to center mark is center line. So we'll click that in. And I'll click both of these lines and it puts a center line in. Same thing over here. There's a center line. All right, so now I've got my center lines and center marks. Now I'm ready to dimension. So I'll go right here to dimension. Or I could press the D key and it'll get me the same result. So I'll click that in. 
And I'm going to come down here. I'll click on, I'll start on the corner, I guess. And I'm going to just locate the hole. So notice I clicked on the corner and then I clicked the top of this plus sign. And see how it's crooked? We don't want that. So I'm just going to kind of move my mouse until that straightens out. And then I'll click and there's my one inch over. Then I'll click top corner and the next top corner and move it up. Place my two inches. I want to get the diameter of this. Now because that's a hole, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'll hit escape first to get out of dimension mode, and then I'll double click there, and I'm going to hit space, and I'm going to type the word through, because that tells the person it's a through hole. If it were a blind hole, in other words, it didn't go all the way through, the first thing I would want to do is come over here and say insert symbol, and there's my, my drilled two, so I can click that and then I would specify how deep it went. For now it is a through hole so I'll leave it the way it is. I'll go back up to dimension. I'm going to click this corner now and then the, the plus sign again. Now that's way crooked, right? So we'll just move the mouse until it straightens up a little bit. And then I'll click the corners because I want the overall dimension now. And then I will go ahead and I'll use the top view, I guess, and because we need that thickness, right? And we need to know exactly how thick to extrude that. Now, our side view, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to escape now. I don't need a dimension. I'm going to hit the escape key on my keyboard. I'm just going to kind of highlight that. Oh, but I haven't clicked anything yet. Now I'm going to click this view and just kind of drag it over a little bit. Same thing with the ISO. I'll move it over just a little bit to get better spacing. And probably I'll come up here to the top view as well and just kind of scoot it up. All I'm doing there is just getting some spacing and making it look pretty. So what we have here is we have a fully dimensioned drawing. My view comes in, but instead it comes in like this. You know, it comes in with the wrong front view. Well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is set the correct front view. So, And this could happen because when we originally drew it, we chew we chose the wrong plane to draw on. So if this does come in, I'll just click it and I'll come over here and say, all right, instead of the, maybe mine says front right now and that's what I got. Maybe I need to come over here and just say, all right, maybe let's try the top view. Okay, that's not it. Maybe let's try the home view. Okay, that's an ISO. So in my particular case, it is the front view, but it may be different for you. Okay. And then once you do that, after you get the correct front view in there, then you can go back up here just like everybody else and hit projected view and 